all of the praises to the Most High and His Son, Yahweh, Bashmi Yahusha, Bashma Rakak Wadash, and double honors to the apostles of the Great Millstone, and salutations to the Yaki Mouth that it continue to further this ministry throughout the four corners of the earth. Inshallah, warm to those that are learning and listening and growing thereby as well. It's the brother Mar come coming at you with another video here. And I just want to speak on the death of uh, Prince Philip. As it says, nations respect Prince Philip. Mourners descend on Buckingham Palace and Windsor Castle to pay respect, but are dispersed by police. Whoa, look at this. 144 comments. Right. So, yeah, it says, um, Mourners have descended on Buckingham Palace and Windsor Castle to pay their respect to Prince Philip, but are being dispersed by police. I've read that already. It's like, yeah. The Duke of Edinburgh, who had been married to the Queen for 73 years, passed away peacefully at Windsor Castle this morning, age 99. Now, my mother was passing through here, you know, to get to her job. And um, she can see that the people were not really upset. But they were pretending to be upset. <laughs> That's what she told me on the phone. And um, I found that quite hilarious. Because people are not. Concerned about this whole situation. They're just there because. It's just something to do. You know most of most of the times. And. Um, <laughs> this guy looks like an abomination man. But anyway. Uh. Like I said, people were just there because it was something to do. Just to get away from what's normal, you know, which is boring. Because um, life for these people are very boring indeed, man. A lot of people don't have a life. So this is just something for them to get away from, you know, their boring reality. Sending flowers and what have you. And I mean, that's not to say that people in general... I'm not upset because you got some people that are that have you know actually taken this seriously, but you got people out there that are just hanging about, man, because it's just something to do. But anyway, um, I don't see what the big deal is because the dude lived a very privileged life. He's lived a good life, and um, you know, as all men do, they pass away when they get to a certain age. It's just what it is. I mean, it you know. But, um, I mean, I understand because he's Prince Philip. So anyway, let's get the scripture. And before I, wanna, before I get the scriptures, I want to read a quote as to what he was saying that he left. And he said, if I were reincarnated, I would wish to be returned to earth as a killer virus to a lower human population level. So, you know, he was, a de he was definitely an advocator for the population. All right, so you got people out there that are taking this very seriously and mourning for the man, but the man is actually an advocate for the population, and that's what people uh, fail to realize, man, which a lot of these individuals, whether you want to call them the princes or even the queen herself or just all around your politicians, including them, you know, they're all about the idea of the population, man. You know what I mean? And that's why... um. They're doing what they're doing with this, this virus, which I don't want to speak about that, but uh, that's why they're talking about this virus so much, and 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 that you got to get the uh, the CV, whatever, whatever. You know what I'm talking about. I'm not gonna actually say it because they're gonna take this video down. But anyway, now let's get the scripture. So it says, "The thoughts of the wicked are an abomination to the Lord, but the words of the pure." Our pleasant words, exactly. Because the words that we speak are, are very well pleasant. We speak about a lot of things. Yeah, we talk about the destruction of this place, but that's pleasant because this place is abominable. It says that the whole world, life, and wickedness. Why? Because you have the wicked that are exalted and that the wicked walk on every side. So this is why the world has become abominable. So when the Lord gets done destroying this place, what's going to be the state of the earth it's going to be clean it's going to be pure and you're going to have the minds that will rule the world which will be pure all right so anyway let's get the book of psalms chapter 10 verse 1 
verse 4 it says the wicked through the pride of his countenance will not seek after the most high god is not in all his thoughts exactly because people like prince philip we're talking about reasonable leveled um satanist that get together in secret in these different lodges these different um you know, Masonic lodges and all of that, and they conjure up spells and demons and things of that nature. So we know that these are people that are not of the most high. I mean, they'll come out and tell you in public that they're people of God, but they're really the people of Satan. And they believe in something else quite contrary to what we believe, which is the true and living power. Okay, and this is why the world, as you can already see, is a mess with all of this pollution in the air. And even down here on earth, when it concerns the water, that's even polluted. And um, life is going out very frequently. Human life and also animal life. So let's move forward. Let's get the book of Ezekiel 35. But you know what? Before I go, I want to read this again. It says, Psalms 10 verse 4, the wicked through the pride of his countenance will not seek after the most high. For the most high is not in all his thoughts. In other words, they don't think about the most high at all. A lot of these Edomites, if you ask them, if they believe, they don't believe. They will tell you that. They will tell you that they're atheists or they believe in some other um, nonsense out there. Because that's just their spirit. The Lord created them to be an abomination. And they're showing forth that they are simply just that, an abomination. And you know, you look at this guy, like I said earlier before, he looks like an abomination. All right? And you may say, well, he's old. You got some old people that, that look very reasonable. You got a lot of old people that look very reasonable. But this guy looks like an evil, sadistic individual, man. Okay? Like he's got skeletons in his closet. The continent shows all. All right? Gives off a vibration that he's a wicked individual. But the proof is in the quote that he had, that he had uh, written. If I were reincarnated, I, I would wish to be returned to earth as a killer virus to lower human population levels. So and that's an evil, wicked thought, as I just read to you in the book of Proverbs 15. Okay? And it says that the thoughts of the wicked lying wait for blood. Let me see if I can get that as well. I'm quoting it right right exactly Proverbs 12 verse 6 it says the words of the wicked are to lie and wait for blood but the mouth of the upright shall deliver them yeah because they get off on shedding blood that's what they've done to be where they're at anyway it was by the sword that they've become what they've become into the power scene in ruling this world as they do. They all got it by bloodshed. By cheating their way to the top. By killing the tribes of Israel. And um, stealing a people. And putting them into slavery against their will. And then shedding their blood afterwards. To show forth that. They hate the descendants of Jacob. Because going back to their forefather Esau. Um, he had hatred against his brother Jacob. So the blood of hate runs deeply through their veins. Throughout his descendants. And I'm talking about Esau. So anyway. Let's move forward. Let's get the book of Ezekiel. 35. Verse 6. It says. Therefore as I live. Save the Lord. Power. Yahweh. I will prepare thee unto blood. And blood shall pursue thee. And say if thou hast not hated blood. Even blood shall pursue thee. Exactly. Because what's the opposite of hate? Love. So they love to shed blood. And this is something that. These Edomites. Get up to do it, man. I mean, we could talk about Tony Blair. We could talk about George Bush. We could talk about all of these individuals and even the people that you don't see. They love to shed blood, man. This is what this revival of ancient Roman civilization is all about. It's all about bloodshed. To get over on other people. And just all around spreading and proliferating corruption. That's what this world is all about, man. And I mean, in order for you to make it in this world, you have to be just as, if not more wicked 
than the people that are root that are that are ruling this world. All right. It says that even the abomination, excuse me, it says that the wicked prosper in this world, which the wicked, according to the Lord, is an abomination. So let's get that in the book of Psalms. I believe it's um seventy three. Right, this is it right here. I'll begin at reading verse 1. It says, Truly the Most High is good to Israel, even to such as are the clean heart, which will be the elect. But as for me, my feet were almost gone, and my steps had well nigh slipped. For I was envious of the foolish when I saw the prosperity of the wicked, as we're seeing right now. You have this individual by the name of Prince Philip, and then you also have the Queen of England, you have other Edomites that are over these Edomites. Because surely these people, they don't really run anything. There's like a, a different group of, um, or you can call them the shadow government. And they basically call the shots to the, to the men that you do see in the outside world. You have two worlds. You have the outside world, and then you also have the inside world. And the men that are in the inside world, which are in these secretive uh, meetings and all of that stuff. They basically tell these individuals from the outside what to do and how to conduct themselves for their agenda. All right. That's the bottom line. So the point of the matter of the scripture is, is that they are prospering. These people have prospered from the least to the greatest of all of these Edomites. They're pros they have prospered greatly in this society. And now we're in a different age and time where we're actually going to see their um, downfall in a great way because we see their downfall gradually. We see that they're not living as good as they used to be. That's why there's a lot of protesting going on. There's a whole lot of um, corruption going on, which is like, for example, you have um, major corporations that are, that are um, giving away kickbacks to other, other co associated companies to their mates, right? And what's happening is, is you have these business, you, you have had these businesses which have been making a decent amount of money and that these businesses have gone out because you have these major corporations that are giving kickbacks to their partners. And um, that's what's going on. So that's another form of corruption that's going on in this world is that you have major corporations out there that are taking over other business out there and people are basically having to um re-up or lose everything that they got because some somebody has a um, like for example if you look at amazon amazon is a uh there's a multi-billion pound company and amazon alone has pretty much taken ups out of business fedex out of business So now, all you see, if you want to order anything, Amazon is is uh is involved in delivering your goods now. That's what's going on. So this world, man, it's nothing more than corruption. I mean, and when you look at the people that are that are ruling the world, they look like corruption in the face. So, I mean, the world is gonna be a reflection of them if if they're ruling the world, man. All right. So um. That's it on that. So I want to go and get something else. Let's read some more verses here. It says, but as for me, my feet were almost gone. My steps had well nigh. I've read that already. It says, for they are no band in their death, but their strength is firm, and they are not in trouble as other men. Neither are they plagued like other men, and therefore pride compasses them about as a chain. Violence covers them as a garment. Yeah, because they don't experience the downfalls of regular people. They live in the best houses. They, they eat the best food. Which in return, they're able to have um, better health than everybody else. So the diseases that regular people suffer from, they don't have to suffer from these things. Okay, they don't have to worry about their sons and their daughters highly likely having a, uh, a birth defect. Because, uh, you know, they have the food and they have the, the medicines of the earth to heal them. And to take and to make sure to prevent that they're um, they're taken care of. 